Are you kidding me? Hey everybody, today we've got ourselves an opportunity to do an experiment that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I want to see how hot this ring gets when we dump a bunch of wood into it and run it to the ground. So we've got ourselves a big oak, uh, big oak stem here and uh, that's all that's left and so I'm going to go up there and I'm going to negative rig some pieces down. We're going to run them all the way down and then I've got a little uh, touch free thermometer I'm going to use to measure how hot the rings get. I've heard of people like burning themselves on these things so I mean they must get pretty hot. Um, obviously we're working with synthetic textiles here you know ropes and, and slings and such and they all have a temperature at which they turn to liquid so there's got to be a point at which it's it's not safe to be getting our ropes that hot i don't know where it is you know you can get burned I don't, i'm not even sure what temperature you can get burned at to be honest but anyhow we're going to find out exactly today how hot this thing gets um this is some 7 8 multi-pro hollow braid something i don't know whatever from all gear and it's rated at 32,000 pounds. Um, we've got a, uh, the, the ring on here has got a safe working load of 22,000 pounds. Uh, so our gear will be plenty fine. We've got a GRCS with a bollard on the base of the tree. So that thing will be plenty sound. And then we got an old uh, piece of 5.8 stable braid. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run it through. If we end up glazing the rope, it's okay. You know, experiment comes at the price of, of, of something somewhere, right? You know. Uh, hopefully we don't experience any failures. We're not, I don't want to push the limits that hard. Um, but I do want to find out how hot that gets. Uh, some quick search around on Google told me that uh, polyester melts and turns to a liquid at 480 degrees. And it loses 50% of its tensile strength at 325 degrees. So that's obviously like a curve. You know, for the for the first half of that, you know, zero to 480 degrees, for the first half of that spectrum, it loses its strength less per degree than it does in the second half of that curve, if that makes sense. Um, so anyhow, I wish I had like a graph to kind of figure out exactly how much strength we were losing and how hot the rope got, but I don't. If anybody else has access to a graph like that and could link it in the comments, that'd be great. Uh, I'd add it to the description so that way it could be available for everyone. Um, but anyhow, we'll see how this goes. I'm super excited to do this. Uh, I'm going to jump up in that tree and, and we'll, get to, we'll get to filming. Okay, we're up here getting this all set up. And it's below freezing now and we start out with a rainy day today above freezing. And so now all of the slings are frozen. <laughs> I'm having to work them off. <laughs> Up here in this tree, we got a first piece on here. It's not a huge piece, but I don't like starting off huge with anything ever. So we got a ring here. Uh, by the time I got everything wrapped up, I figured out it is a little bit longer than I'd like, but we'll set up better the next time. It'll be fine for this one. We're gonna run this piece all the way to the ground. Now it's pretty cold out today. So I'm gonna give you our starting temperature. Are you kidding me? Now this thing ain't working. Keep saying AL. What a piece of trash. So the temp gun ain't working, so we're gonna have to try it on the next one once it warms up a bit. I got it in my pocket inside my jacket. Nice catch. Well, it's warm, but it ain't, it ain't burning me. <laughs> you know what? I might be making this video to hate on rings and I might end up using this thing a lot. <laughs>
temp gun again real quick and see if it wants to work. Okay, our starting temperature is like 36 degrees it looks like. Okay, she's ready to push off. Nice run, Bo, nice run. We'll check that temp quick before she gets a chance to cool down. Eighty six is the most I've seen here. Oh, ninety three. 90, 97, or no, 87. It's like 90 something degrees. So it gained, what is that? 60-ish Six, degrees in one, one rig. That's pretty interesting. Okay, we got another one on here. This one's getting kind of big, but the, the bigger we get, the lower in the tree we get too. So kind of a toss up. See if we got a starting temp. Looks like 35, 35. So it cooled off pretty good in the time it took me to reset. I think that's important. If you were to be running a bunch of rigs on one of these on the top of the tree, I think you might have a different story. <laughs> Get a temp gun on that real quick here. I didn't see anything more than 90 degrees on it. That's incredible. All right, let's do it again. Okay, here's our last one. This is a this is a big daddy here. <laughs> this might be one of the bigger negative rigs I've done in a long time. Maybe even ever. I don't know. I typically don't rig real big negative. But anyhow, starting temp once again. 30 oh this time we're at 30 so it took me a little bit longer to get this one set up so it must have cooled down we'll send it this is a long piece to fit in not a lot of space vertically so we'll see she'll get the brakes put on real quick and i'll also have a lot of momentum when we put the brakes on so you ready down there Bo? <laughs> Still not getting anything over 90 degrees. There was 90 there for a second. That's nuts. I thought for sure we'd be seeing way higher temps than that. So maybe I'm gonna start using this more. Maybe all the folks that were telling me that they use rings all the time without, without a problem were, maybe they're onto something. I should have listened to them. It's a little bit of a humbling experience. The whole reason I wanted to do this experiment was to prove those folks wrong, if I'm being totally honest. I thought this thing would get so hot, you know, it would be a dangerous to society. But here I am. I will probably keep one of these around and use it for negative rigging until I find a reason not to. Hey guys, I was editing this video and I just wanted to stop and talk about uh, Bend Radius here real quick. Something I forgot to mention or really even consider while I was up there was that these rings have a super tight bend radius, okay? This is only like an inch and three quarters wide. You know, it's a big old ring, but in this dimension, it's only an inch and three quarters. And so it bends that rope really hard. Um, if you don't know the value of bend radius, um, 
the tighter the radius, the more unevenly it loads the fibers in the rope. And the wider that is, the wider that radius is, the more evenly it loads the fibers in the rope. Obviously, when it loads the fibers more evenly, it stays stronger. Um, so blocks like this one have a big wide sheave in them that's super wide this way. I think this one's four and a half or four and five eighths inches wide. And so it's a lot better for the rope. Um, and, and the rope can hold more when it's bent over that sheave. So I just wanted to bring it up real quick. That's certainly something to consider when choosing to use a ring. Um, I don't think I'll use rings um, for all of my big rigging needs when it comes to negative rigging, but I think they will make a nice, uh, nice, easy, lightweight solution for some lighter duty rigging. I might do this experiment again sometime with like uh, rigging multiple things off of one point rapidly. You know, to know if this would serve as a fair rigging point up in the top of a tree while you're doing work below, you know, where you can't monitor it. So, we'll give it a shot. But even if it was like 100 degrees out today, and this thing had been laying in the sun was 120 degrees, and we ran a rope on it, if it only gained 60 degrees, you know, that's 180 degrees. That's still way below working temperature. Well, I don't even know what working temperature is. I shouldn't say that, but that's, you know, that's below where we lose 50% of the strength of the material. So, you know, and that's, that would be my target, just in the, the line of thinking that we lose 50% approximately in a knot anyway. So, that's, that's interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna follow this stick hopefully tonight. If we get to do that before it gets dark, I'll film that for you. But it should be quite, quite the piece. I did the math for this bit of wood here, and it's somewhere around 16 or 17,000 pounds, so. We're going to lay her down pretty hard, probably. Well done, Bo. That was excellent work. Hey, look, there was some there was some decay going on in there. Some pith. Uh, she had a bad spot, which is odd because we, you know, climbing a tree, we didn't see any evidence of anything. Wow, that's 42 inch bar there. That thing was a full four feet across down there at the cut. Anyway, that's massive. It's a very nice hinge too. Look at how big that is. Oof. 
All righty, well, we're gonna pick up tools and get out before it gets dark and before this camera dies because of the cold weather. <laughs> <laughs>